So I've just got to say this because it keeps it keeps going on and I just don't understand. And I asked my wife, why do people do this? And she goes, people are people. But um, why do Christians still support Disney and Target again? I'm trying to figure that out. And there's probably other organizations, but I know those, those are two of the biggest. I mean, I've gone so far as I don't support the NFL. I was literally the biggest Bronco fan you can be. I had the posters, I had the I had the uh, hat, I had the clothing, the whole bit. Now, I didn't go and burn it. I mean, I haven't supported them since they went woke and did this black national anthem because there is no black America. There's no white America. There's no Asian America. There's no Jewish America or Irish America or, I mean, it just is beyond me. The, and people support the Target. How in the world do Christians still support Target? How in the world do Christians still support Disney and are proud of it? I had a, there was a preacher recently and one of his sermons said, yeah, and I, you know, still support Disney. And I'm like, what in the world? What in the world? I'm like, either I'm weird or, or something. And maybe I am. And you can tell me because your comments wouldn't bother me. I've said more things to myself that would bother me more than what you could say to me. Um, but tell me I'm right or tell me I'm wrong because I don't understand how people continue to support organizations in this country that are detrimental to our spiritual and cultural welfare. And they don't even care. Is it, or is it just, is it brain freeze? Do people just like, oh, I forgot that Target supported every ungodly thing in the world. Oh, I forgot that Disney will support every ungodly pedophilic thing in the world. But I mean, I don't get this. I don't get it. The NFL, yeah, okay. I could see you still supporting the NFL. I can't. I can't. I've watched two NFL games in the last two years. They were the Super Bowls. If you think that's supporting it, then okay. You have your you have your thing. But I literally, I mean, I've been to a game in Denver. I have used to be the world's biggest Broncos fan. I battled the Seahawk critics when I lived up in Seattle and told them how sorry the water chickens were. That's what I would call them. For, I, you know, that was my play on the word Seahawk. Love the Seahawks you know, now as far as if I love any NFL team, which I don't. But um, if I did, I love them now because they're not part of the AFC West, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no, I, but, I, but I digress because I'm just amazed at how people will continue to support organizations that go against what they believe. My wife will tell you, my kids will tell you, oh, and Nike. No, I'm done with Nike. It, it went woke. Let it go broke. And, and the reason all this is coming to mind is because this uh, kicker from the Chiefs is making the news for making incredibly wonderful comments about the beauty of womanhood. I worked hard, and we sacrificed as a family. We've got five children, so my wife could stay home till the last child went to school. We could be financially a lot better off than we are. But who cares about money? You only get one chance to raise your kids. Who cares about what this world has to offer? I was investing in their eternity, not their temporary. And my wife being able to stay home, I I'm going to tell you, I would much rather work two jobs than have to stay home and raise kids. It is the hardest job in the world and the least appreciated and the most underpaid. But the value is not in dollars. The value is in morals and, and in community and pouring out a mother's heart and life into the lives of her children that she bore in her body for nine months and then birthed and brought into this world. So we get back to that, motherhood being so beautiful, and then people support organizations that are against everything Christians stand for and believe. Especially, again, I put on the mark Target and Disney. Some of you need to really, you know, get right with God and say, how can I do this, God? Is it really that wrong? Or is Ross just a right-wing nut? I don't feel like I am. We've lost the sense of holiness. I read a book this year, and I am in no way... <laughs> The poster child of holiness, righteousness, or godliness. I don't consider myself that. I consider myself the least of all. 
as the chiefest of sinners. I know I am a broken, messed up human being. It's only by the grace of God that I'm going to heaven. But I read a book this year, The Holiness of God, and I keep looking over there because that's where it is, by uh, Sproul. Is it C.R. Sproul? Powerful book. And it reinforced this in my heart through the Spirit of God that we support way too many things that go against what we believe. So there you go.